Hello, it's been too long, but now I want to continue teaching you about um, civil engineering. Okay, today we're going to learn how to detail a base like this one. The first thing is um, after you've drawn your layouts, you've positioned where the bases should go, those bases that have the same um, size, they, came, they come with the same lettering. Here, I could have num numbered them just one, two, three, but in this case, I chose to use B1 for base one uh, to signify those bases that have the same the same dimensions. Okay, now what we'll need to do is to uh, to name them to have the same name for bases that are similar. When we are on site and we have uh, changes to make, what we'll do is we'll quote. And we'll say, for example, we want to change this base to be a double mate. We can say uh, base B1 on grid line uh, 3A. It will refer to particularly this one, not any other. Okay, now let's start. The first thing is to copy the base and the column. You copy this one to a place just close here. Okay, now when we have a base like this, the next thing is to is to trace out uh, the appearance of the column like that okay let me just uh, move this one into place here like that okay i'm going to copy this one from that point to that point to that point to that point okay it will start to take shape very soon now the next thing is to draw uh, the is to, to to draw the blind thing Okay, the blinding is usually 50 millimeters so we we'll offset by 50 millimeters okay upwards okay now my base in this case is uh, 350 so i'm going to offset 350 millimeters my, all my dimensions are in millimeters okay that way now from the bottom of the base to the ground level i'm going to offset by um uh, 2400 okay which is the depth Okay, you can see that this is the ground level then I want it to be above ground level by about 300 so I'm going to offset from this point uh, 300 enter okay. now what I'm going to do I'm, I'm, I, I want to be left with only the base so I'm going to chamfer so that I trim off the unwanted parts as you can see it's starting to take shape then I'm going to cut the unwanted parts like here this point and that point okay I'm going to delete the these two okay I'm going to draw a 45 degree line here it's just me being stylish don't worry about it okay I'm going to trim off the unwanted path like that then I'm going to mirror this point that other side from the center line okay where's the center line okay I'll just mirror from this point going downwards okay I'm going to move this point to the right to the end like that okay now I'm going to trim off the unwanted parts which are going to be this line uh, okay this one that one okay and I'm going to move this one and that one okay we're going to trim off that one this one okay now this being the ground level I'm going to trim off this part outside this is where it's going to end, so I'm going to trim off the unwanted parts like this part, and that part. Okay. This is my slab. So this is where uh, the top of the slab would be. The top of the slab being the top of the of the beam as well. Okay, my slab is 200 millimeters thick, so I'm going to offset by 200. Enter and downwards. Right, I'm going to. My, my 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 beam is 500 deep so i'm going to set by 500 enter going like that let me root do that one i'm going to offset 5 500 500 was that that's where the mistake was okay now this is going to be my sectioned beam okay this part of the column is not sectioned now this is going to be where my slab intersects with the beam. Now what I'm going to draw is called a break line. The break line signifies where there's this 
uh, where there is willful discontinuity of the slab. So it's just there to show where we are going to end. Uh, we are saying the slab is continuing, but we do, would rather not show that part. Okay. So this is um, this is my base. Now, what I have, I have the ground level here, the heights, and everything. Okay. Um, for the first one, I'm just going to. Uh, this is the layer out one. I'm going to just show with this uh, cross section there. Uh, this means that uh, there's a cutting in the concrete itself.